been a while since my last food adventure and for anyone who's new joining me, welcome. I hope you enjoy this. Today we have something super special. I'm with Chef Tim Schult alongside Mac and Ming's Chef Makoto Ono and Chef Amanda Chang for a really unique pop-up event. And I guess you'll get to see it really soon. We're actually uh, driving there right now. Tim generously agreed to an interview. Hey Tim, what's happening tonight? Ah, tonight we're gonna have a Germanese pop-up, so some German and some Japanese food with my friend Makoto from Mac and Ming. Uh, we'll have two seatings, 40 people, I'm very excited. What made this happen? Yeah, a lot of people are doing pop-ups right now, it's like a new thing, like right. people are just trying uh, themselves out and like see if people like their food and all that kind of stuff, so I was thinking about doing that as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was talking to Makoto and if he's interested in doing a little collaboration and yeah, that's how it all started. What are you serving tonight? I'm gonna serve, because I'm German and people over here don't really know what German food is. They always think of sauerkraut and like uh, uh, ham hock and stuff. Right, yeah. So I'm just gonna cook them like two little traditional dishes. Uh, it's uh, One is a trout dish with uh, parsley and potato and lemon, which I'm gonna interpret a little bit differently. And the other dish is gonna be uh, pork roast, pretty much with onions, but I'm just gonna give it a little modern twist with uh, bread dumplings and spring vegetables. Wow. And so how long did it take you to prepare these two dishes? Uh, we've, I would say like, we've been working on it for the last, like, I wanna say 14 hours. And yeah, since yesterday I have my good friend Josh that I work, used to work with and he was helping me a lot, so yeah. What's the one thing that most people don't get about cooking? A lot of people, I guess, watch or think cooking is just fun and like because they see it on TV all these mm -hmm. cooking shows and everyone wants to be a chef and like oh, it's such an easy thing but it is actually a lot of work and you really need to love the job and mm -hmm. otherwise yeah you won't really last very long you got to be passionate about it so when you want to do nice food it takes long hours and a lot of times they're not paid for so that's one thing that everyone and it's a really tough job Right. Yeah, long hours and also, yeah, you gotta put out every plate perfect every time and this is like a lot of, yeah, it takes a lot of dedication. Now, what's been your culinary journey? I started cooking 15 years ago, pretty much. I did an internship when I was in grade 8. I was like, I think I was 13 years old and I did an internship at, uh, in a hotel for uh, four weeks and yeah, since then I was like, hey, I want to be a chef. And then I uh, finished high school and went to, uh, yeah, moved moved out of my hometown and did an apprenticeship for three years. And after that, yeah, I've been just keeping on cooking. Yeah. And what were some of like the past places that you've been to and worked at? I've been through Germany. Like I worked in Hamburg, I worked in Hanover, I worked in uh, Frankfurt, I worked in Berlin. After that, it took me to Canada, Vancouver for the first time. Then uh, I worked a little bit in the winery area in the Okanagan Valley. Wow. After that, I went to Australia, worked in Melbourne, Sydney. Right. And then I came, <laughs> came back to Vancouver and took on a head chef position at Bauhaus. And yeah, that's, I stopped working there like three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. What are you doing after this uh, pop-up? Um, my plan is to hit the road on Tuesday. I'm going to travel through the States for two months mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully land in Toronto. For uh, everyone who's watching and in Toronto, um, Tim is going to be in Toronto very soon and you know his, his food stands for itself. I've been here past two days but Tim's been out for like past three, four days with uh, Chef Makoto as well as Chef Amanda and putting lots of hours in, doing a lot of different work to put this dinner together and so I'm, or we're going to get back to shooting and, and preparations, but for you guys, you'll see dinner in three, two, and one. Today, actually, I'm here with Chef Tushar, Tushar who is from Mumbai Local, who will be, you know, joining me on this experience. And so the first course, as you see, um, involves kind of this Lego brick, and um, as well as a takoyaki with a halibut halibut interior. Cool. And so uh, just just so you see the brick up close. And, uh, I'm gonna go with takoyaki. Mm. Wow. 
It's really good. Mm -hmm. And like, there's a little puree at the bottom. What, is it potato? It's caper, uh, caper meal. See, this is why I brought a chef here, because I, <laughs> I don't know too much. One of my absolute favorite dishes is uh, takoyaki. All right, here he goes. Mm. In Asia, you get this everywhere. Hey, on the streets, mm -hmm. like the flipping, I like the octopus. And so yesterday when I was here, they like cooked them to like 80% through. And then just earlier in the kitchen, they actually dumped them in the deep fryer to like heat them up and cook them fully. Okay. And then you have it and it's just perfect. And so for our next course, what do we have? Uh, we have Hokkaido scallop sashimi with white asparagus and uh, dark beer ponzu. Uh, German dark beer. This looks beautiful. Um, I guess, ha am I supposed to have a little bit of everything in here? Yeah, a little bit of everything. Gonna not try and get this into your gin smash, but uh, super fresh and really sweet. Maybe these scallops are from uh, Hokkaido. Mm -hmm. I like the asparagus. And the ponzu is just really gentle, kind of um, adds a little bit of acidity to it. Wow, oh, that's so good. <laughs> All right, and so we have our next course, which is a trout, trout mullein art with uh, lemon, parsley, parsley oil, and potatoes. Yeah, and uh, that is just so beautiful. Take a little bit of everything. Take a little bit of everything. All right, we got a little. Mm. And uh, a little bit mashed potato in the bottom. Yeah, it's just very creamy. A puree, and um, the tread is just cooked perfectly. Yeah, it's so tender. So, uh, our next course we have homemade sourdough. Homemade sourdough. Yeah, with um, a local Vancouver herb butter, and everything's foraged. I like this butter. Very you can never have too much butter. Yeah, so this is a first main course meal. Beautiful veggies. Nice little uh, bread, bread pudding. Or, sorry, bread dumpling. I'm a dumpling. Dumb. <laughs> mm. Onion puree, puree is so good. How do you find the pork? Really good. This was a nice sweet and tender. Try the apple and the onion puree like all together. Yeah. And uh, this was uh, grilled on the hibachi grill. Oh, the pork? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what you get to see when you go behind the seat. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> This is really good. The pork is nicely tender. This is just gorgeous presentation. You can taste like the butter ring through all the spring veggies. It's like a very soft kind of delicate taste too. I really want to savor this food. And so the next main is a beef filet don burri. Yeah. With sushi rice in the bottom. Sweet egg yolk. Oh yeah, um, break, break the egg yolk. Mm. And you know, actually behind the scenes, what uh, what I saw was um, they had a piece of charcoal and they were like blow torching oh, the, the charcoal. charcoal. Yeah, the charcoal over the um, the meat. So oh, interesting. Yeah. For the charred flavor. Yeah, and they actually did a fresh grated um, horseradish okay. over this and uh, some nori. You know, yeah, some nori on top as well. A little bit of salt over the egg as well. Wow, oh, that's so good. I don't need poke bowls. It's nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. The egg yolk. The sushi rice with a good amount of vinegar helps to cut through a lot of the richness. All right, and our next course is a surprise on the menu, actually. Stuffed foie gras parfait. It's like a little donut. I love foie gras. Oh. Mm. Nice, sweet and rich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, cool. And so for the very final course, we have a matcha baumkuchen. It's uh, 
German German cake with Japanese uh, flavor. Oh, okay. It's matcha. Right. And, and with sour cream. Sour ice cream. cream. Ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It tastes a little bit of foie gras. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's so good. I like that cake. Yeah. And the crumble on it is, is nice too. Mm -hmm. See, uh, Chef Tushar and I are completely done our meals. Chef Tim, absolutely. thank you so much for dinner. It was absolutely incredible. Thank you very much. Um, I hope so, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, best of luck with your journey to Toronto. I'm sure I'll hear all about it. I'm also sure I'll probably film and like <laughs> snoop around in Toronto as well. Absolutely, you're always welcome. Thank you so much for everything. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> See you later. All right, and if you joined me the entire way here, thank you for your time. And also, thank you, Tushar, for uh, driving me back. <laughs> Huge kudos to Tim, Makoto, Amanda, and the rest of the staff that was there today for putting together this awesome event and delighting my our taste buds. And for Tim, you know, I know you're you're heading out to do a giant trip across the United States, and you're going to be landing in Toronto. So, we're wishing you all the best in your journey. Good luck, Tim. Miss you. You know, I'm excited to share a number of new dining experiences with you very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe, and if you don't, you know, either way, have a great day.